family, it's me Steph. So I'm here to talk to you about the new Coastal Bus mobile app. You can use it to reserve bus tickets from your mobile device. So it saves you from taking the trip to the bus terminal a day ahead, or it saves you from getting to the terminal and the tickets are sold out. This application has actually been out for a while, but the Coastal Bus company has recently updated their mobile smartphone application so it makes it a little easier for you to use this on the go and also now with this new system you don't have to go to the ticket counter in order to redeem your paper ticket so you can just go straight to the bus and scan your mobile phone and you'll be able to get right on the bus using that mobile ticket first thing is you'll need a smartphone so get your little smartphones out and the second thing you need to do is download the application so let's get started all right so the first thing you need to do is go to the Google Play Store um, and search for the Kosok bus mobile application so that's the name of the app go ahead and open the app so after you download it you might come across this screen here um, and it's asking if you want to become a member or to the bottom left if you're already a member and to the bottom right to decide later. So click Najunge for later and it will take you to the main screen. So you'll have three main categories. Um, this is the one that we'll be dealing with the most today and this Kosok Bus Yeme is for actually reserving tickets. This one here is for checking pre-existing reservation and this one here is checking the status of a bus that if you have a loved one coming into town. But today we're going to choose the top option to make a reservation. Alright, so once you get onto that page here for making a reservation, you'll see Chulbalji and Dojakji. Uh, and this one is pretty much your starting point and your uh, final destination point. And Suntek means select, so you would just need to choose the city. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on this, and it's going to change the screen a little bit. Okay, once you do that, you'll see here, Terminal, Jiok, Iremul, Komsek Haseo. Okay, here you can search for the name of the terminal that you are trying to select. So we're going to go down to here. Uh, here it says Jonche, which pretty much means like general. So you can search here for your the name of your city. For me, I am in the Incheon, Gyeonggi area, which is it's still in this general again because everything is listed here. But I'm going to search here to make it easier to find my city. Okay, once I find my city, which is Yeoju, and also my final destination, which is Seoul, Gyeongbu, you can click here to change your date. All right, again, I'm here on Jeonje, which is general, uh, nothing special or too, too specific, so I'm going to keep it clicked on here. Udong is for more classy or more expensive of a ride. Um, if you look at the seat here, this is not a symbol for a wheelchair. Uh, this is actually to show a more cushioned, uh, more comfortable ride. So usually on a normal bus in Korea, there are four seats in each row, but on this one, you have three seats. This one is the regular bus with the four seats. Okay, so once you've made your selection, go ahead and press here and continue to the next page okay on this page you can see your city that you're leaving from and here also you'll see ilban kosok this one here is just the normal four seats in a row and kosok means express and here list the time you would depart and this is the bus company here and this is how many seats are available currently so you can go ahead and just scroll down and pick the time that you want. Okay, once you select your time, you can go ahead and select your seat. Here I chose number 25. Once I select that, I go back again to Ilban, select this here. Once I select that, it's going to light up here for me to continue with making my reservation. Okay, so this next page is once more asking about the login type. And here you would have to put in your phone number if you're already a member. But we are not members and we don't have an account, so 
This tab, which is the top left, is not what we want to use. We want to go to the top right and use the Get Login section. So let's click the tab to the top right and you would choose the bottom option for guest login. And on this page, at the top, you would put in your phone number. The middle section, create a four digit password and in the bottom, re-enter that password. And then once you're finished doing that, you can go ahead and press here for confirm. Okay, so it's gonna bring you to the payment page um, to where you can select the type of card that you want to use for making your reservation. Um, and also you can use a T money card. Um, so here are your two options. It shows you your price again and the card types. Okay, so here is what I'm going to use. You can try using T money, but we're not going to go over that today. But if you click on that, you'll see this message here, which will prompt you to download extra security for using the T money card on this mobile app. Okay, now back to this main page for payment. I'm going to go ahead and use the credit card option or debit card option. And here is the agreement page, just agreeing, ter terms and conditions. So if you see this here, this means agree. This here, this means agree. You would click here and click here and press agree again. All right, here you would select your card type. All right. And so yeah, you can follow through with putting in your card information. And also, I know this is a little bit strange to us foreigners, but here it requires you to put in the first two digits of your card pin. So it feels strange and it feels a little bit invasive, but when I was reviewing this with my Korean friends, none of them seemed to care that much. So I guess it's something normal here in Korea. So here, if you work in Korea, you'll have an alien registration card, uh, which shows your alien registration, alien registration number. Um, and the first six digits of that are your birthday. Once you're finished putting in that information, go ahead and click here to continue. Okay, so once you input that information, you can click here to confirm that your reservation has been complete or you can reserve a return ticket. Okay, so on the main page here, we'll see that we have a little one here, which means that we have a reservation, a pre-existing reservation because we just completed it. So if you click in this and then click on the little section that says mobile ticket, you'll see your mobile ticket. And here is what you will scan once you get on the bus. Um, this shows your ticket number, your reservation information, everything that you input earlier. And the rules still apply if you want to get on a bus for an earlier time. You would just go to the bus and present this mobile ticket to the driver for him to scan and he can change your time for you. So anyway, that's that. And here is just a little picture that they have to show you once you get on the bus. Here's the bus driver's seat and here's the new scan machines that they have in Korea. You would just take your phone and go ahead and scan it right there and that's it. So I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, I want to give a special thanks to my friend Im Soo Hyung for helping me with this application, learning it, learning how to use it so that I can help you guys. So thank you so much. And just a side note, this application is changing all the time. Even in my process of making this video, they made changes and updates to the mobile application. The changes, of course, were to better the mobile application, but I also had to change some things in the video for you guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe. So thank you so much for watching Pani TV. Annyeong!